Hey, this is a really quick video uh, in regards to um, this Unity UT204A. Um, this is a hobby grade, um, consumer grade clamp meter, AC, DC amps. Um, I know it claims all sorts of things about Cat 2 and Cat 3. Uh, it's probably bullshit. I'm not going to even test it or worry about it. Um, the main reason I got this is I needed a clamp meter that could do DC and low amperage DC, below 40 amps was fine. And it's worked pretty good um, until this morning. Um, this morning I went out to use it. Um, I was gonna, I was setting up, prepping my pop-up trailer for a future vacation and when I put it into the 40 amp mode, uh, it was recorded, reporting an overload. And when I put it to 600 amps, it was reporting 116 amps with nothing clamped on it, nothing. Um, searching the internet, looking in the manual, doesn't tell me anything. Don't know what caused it to appear suddenly. Uh, but what I did to fix it, and I'm not going to open this up, I'm just going to tell you, um, it's pretty simple, is uh, you have to open the back, there's a screw here, there's a screw here, you have to carefully pry up around here, and then this will pop out, and it will expose a, a circuit board and then a smaller circuit board with a ribbon going into here. On that circuit board, there's a screw in one corner up near this edge and uh, next to it on the opposite side of the circuit board is a little tiny pot, a little potentiometer, looks like a screw. You'll see a bunch of them. Um, don't mess with any of the other ones, but if you carefully hold a battery in here and then with the clamp closed you can adjust that screw and it's very finicky, very touchy. You can adjust it until you get this reading as close to zero as you can get. Um, good luck getting it absolute zero. Usually you can get it completely zero with the this REL. Um, once I did that it seems to be fine, it seems to be accurate, everything's great. Um, it's just I have no idea why it suddenly went out. Maybe it got bumped, jarred, I don't know. But that's a real quick um, video on that.